We're here in the Argagana under the Dawa Dawa tree, which sits just outside our school and the computer lab that we're building in partnership with Whole Foods Market in the background. And the discussion that's going on right now under the tree is how to finish paying for the building. Whole Foods Market and the Blessing Basket Project held to our part of the commitment and the building has gone over budget. And now the community has to figure out how to raise the additional needed funds, which is quite a challenge here. So we've talked about everything from government involvement to members of the community donating, for example, livestock that can then be sold and turned into ready cash. The Blessing Basket project is standing by to give the community the loan it needs to complete the project at zero interest, but we have to have assurance that the loan will be repaid. So it's an interesting discussion here this afternoon by members of the PTA and local political leadership, as well as the teachers. Great, great discussion. I'm so excited to see the community standing tall in this moment to figure out how it will determine its own destiny. We are still here under the Dawa Dawa tree in Niagara discussing the computer lab that the community asked Whole Foods Market and, and the Blessing Basket Project to build. We contributed the funds that the community asked for. However, the project went over budget. So the discussion for over an hour now has been how is the community going to raise the funds necessary to complete the building? The Blessing Basket Project is standing by to give the community a zero interest loan for the amount they need to complete the building. And as I said, for more than an hour, a fervent discussion has been going on about how to repay the funds. And a huge idea was just born. And that was that they would use the wedding of Joe and myself to raise money from all members of the community to pay back the loan. It's traditional here that people will bless the married couples with roosters and goats and sheep and those types of things. Since we obviously cannot take them back to the United States, those things would then be sold and all of the money used to repay the loan. Wow. They're so excited about the solution that they have found, they can't even stand it.